Hi guys, today we are going to have a more relaxed kind of video. So this will be a get ready with me in which I will be using some items that I got from the Shantikai Fall 2019 collection. So I have two eyeshadows from their uh, Vanishing Species collection, the new Chic Gelee and the new uh, Lip Veil. So, if you are interested, let's get ready together. I confess that I have already started. I already have my foundation. Um, I'm testing a new one and a little bit of concealer. So, we will start with the eyes. I'm not uh, very keen on single eyeshadows, but for the new ones from Shantikai, uh, the Vanishing Species collection, I had to make an exception. Um, first, because they are obviously beautiful, just look at the packaging. I mean, these photos are truly amazing. But second, I have a, a deep appreciation for their philanthropy project. So I got two of them, the Shita, which is described as a warm champagne color, and the Elephant, which is described as a taupe gray. Although I was very divided between the elephant and the rhinoceros, which is like a, an olive green shadow, um, I think these two are perfect for uh, an everyday look. And look at this embossing on the eyeshadow, isn't it pretty? I'm going to use like a very small brush and I'm going to apply uh, the, the taupe grey actually before that I'm going to put a little bit of concealer to help grab the eyeshadow so this is this eyeshadow is described as a pearlescent shimmery eyeshadow very pretty. Shantikai's eyeshadows are very nice. Like this. I'm going to put it on the other side now. So what do you guys think of this Brexit situation? I'm always surprised when I see the discussions in the UK's Parliament they are so emotional and it's so peculiar because British people are so calm and they like to be very poised and in the Parliament it's absolutely the opposite. There are two issues that are always very controversial in uh, conversations, religion and politics. So, I'm not going to discuss them in my channel. Brexit is a very controversial topic at the moment and actually one that uh, British people are starting to get a little bit tired of to the point that uh, Sky has even created um, a channel well, where they show all the news without any Brexit comment. They call it the, um, the channel without the B word. It's very funny. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to put a little bit of the Shita color using a pencil brush from MAC on the inside corner of my eyes I always like to make my eyes a little bit more um, slanted 
and open here. This is a very nice color and one that I actually can have always at hand because it's a very uh, beautiful color for to put here beneath the, the eyebrow. It has for me the perfect color and just the slight shimmer to it. It's beautiful. The other side. Okay. Now I'm going to use the other brush and I'm going to pat slightly, lightly, slightly, lightly <laughs> in between the champagne and the grey taupe just to make a better gradient of color between the two. Like this. These shadows are very nice. You can apply them very lightly to make just a soft wash of color and shimmer or you can really make them pop. I'm applying them, applying them quite heavily in order for you to be able to see. I'm going just pass this uh, MAC 217 lightly on the border like this just a little bit of fallout of the biggest little bits of shimmer but not massively I'm going to put now a little bit of this uh, chic jelly. It's the new shade Vibrant. I'm going to put a little bit here on my hand. And as you can see, it's a very deep pink, almost um, nearing plum. This will make a beautiful color for fall when we like to use so many plum lipsticks. So I'm going to use my finger on one side of my face and the brush on the other one. Ooh. Mm. It's very nice. Actually I think I'll put on this side with fingers as well because it blends so easily. Ooh, I think I've placed too much on this side. I would like to take the opportunity as well to tell you guys that I'm going to start with a new series of videos. I will call them Sightseeing and History because I want to share with you as well. That was one of the reasons why I came to the UK and I hope that some of you will share this interest as well. If you have any suggestions of places that you would like me <laughs> to visit and make a video on it, please place a comment. I will prioritize those. Actually, it will be very funny. The first one I would like to, to go is to the British Museum and to the National Gallery Museum. So actually two. And I would like to show you what are the portraits and the pieces that I love the most. These two are in London, but you, if you have any suggestions outside London, by all means, tell me. And why am I creating this series of videos? Because I don't want my channel to be only about new products and reviewing new products. As you can see, it's really vibrant, the color. I'm going to put a little bit of bronzer. I'm going to use my uh, Real Bronze from Chantecaille in the shade Sirena. I'm putting it a little bit more heavily because then I'm going to use the um, Hourglass Ghost palette. I've been really enjoying the finishing powder finishing powders in them, all the powders, but 
I find that the finishing powders are really nice when we are feeling, filming because it really softens the skin gives a blurry look to the skin a little bit more blurry of course it doesn't do miracles Woo! Mama. So I'm going on the lightest of the powders this one, which is the diffused light. Just brushing all over. As you can see, it has softened up very lightly the blush and the bronzer. Okay. The new shade from the Lip Veils from Chantecai, it's called Tamboti and it's a nude. I'm going to swatch this one, Tamboti, it's very very nice. And I have here as well, Baobab, which is slightly more pink. Actually, it's clearly more pink. I'm going to swatch as well. One from our glass that I got recently is called I Cherish and belongs to the Ghost Collection as well. So as you can see, the one from our glass, it's deeper and more pigmented. The lip veil is... Uh, more sheer and also more hydrating. I love this formula. I, I, I love both, but on a day-to-day -day basis I definitely prefer the lip veil because it's extremely comfortable, especially in winter. My skin is always dehydrated. I like this new shade very much. I've just placed um, the eyeliner and mascara and now I'm going to use my Chantecaille and the Gournier um, Lumière Rose highlighter. I think it's still possible to get this one and just place a little bit and that's it. Ready! <laughs> just a short note uh, on the products from Chantecaille that I've just shown you. They are lovely. I have yet to try a product from Chantecai that I do not enjoy. Love their philanthropical projects. The performance is outstanding. I hope you have enjoyed this shorter, uh, relaxed kind of video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, it would really mean a lot to me. And see you in my next one. Bye!